What is good friends, we're back with a show on life, I know it's been a while, um, but yeah, I wanted to mix things up a little bit, not just only upload uh, tournament games. Um, he has a pincer, which is a huge problem, so I didn't want to lead with like Tang or Finny. Uh, now I'm kind of forced to go Finny on the Kelio though, let's see if he pulls a double, he's just, okay, he's just Calm Mind, so if he's the Hyper Beam, which is like an early Sun and Moon set, then he probably beats me 1v1. I um, already played a few games off screen and the opponents were not that great so I decided to um, yeah just restart the recording I'm sorry my dude but I don't know why you taunted taunt literally made no sense um, I might just have to restart again because this guy doesn't know what he's doing either it seems even though like that hex obviously sucks but I don't get his play at all now I have no flying like my flying resist is Heatran and Magiena which both get buffed by earthquakes so I mean, I don't really need Finny for that much because you already set the Keldeo, so I could also just stay in here and get damage off. I might just do that. I mean, Finny's my Fogger. That also has Fog, yeah. I think I'm fine with staying in here. And I just Moonblast because I think that should do around the same as Nature's Madness. Maybe a little bit less. Yeah, it does a bit less, but it cannot miss and I didn't want to risk missing. Yeah, I think I'm f I gotta just pick my Fodder here. Tangor is good to pivot versus the Pex. Um, I mean, this would be good to have Misty Terrain for my Zard, so Pex can Toxic my Zard after a Mega, but other than that, Finny doesn't really do that much. Uh, Magina wins if I get rid of Pex, but that's a big if. So I either sack this or I sack... I feel like everything else is kind of useful, so I just sack this as he SDs again. Um, not quite sure what he's trying... I guess he's trying to just... Um, I mean, I think now he's in range of... No, I still have to hit an edge to kill him. That's rough. I should have gone... <laughs> I should have gone for Madness into Moonblast because... Madness into Moonblast would have meant that he might have been in U-turn range. Um, I would have had to calc that. Let me actually open the calculator in case a tricky scenario comes up. But yeah, anyways, you guys could vote on Twitter which team you want me to use in a live. Now we have to hit an edge or we just lose if you miss this. And yeah... I should be able to live a plus three quick attack, right? Because this land is bulk invested Scarf Lando. Um, I gave you guys like four teams for my man Eric to vote on. This team won. It's like the one team he didn't use in World Cup. So maybe you guys voted on it um, because it wasn't used in World Cup. So you didn't have the spreads already. Or the sets, I mean. Not the spreads, the sets. Or oh, I assume it's also because people just like Zardex. Zardex is a really cool mon, so I can completely understand why you would vote for it. Now... I'm not sure about the dimensions, let me know if you like the dimensions, I'm testing around a little bit. I can just go Zard or Tren here. I feel like I just want to get my Zard in before rocks go up so we can put in some work. And the thing is he doesn't know if I'm X or Y, so he might just, he's probably just gonna go Pex here. Uh, so I think we can Mega Evolve and go for Dragon Dance, anticipating the Pex to come out as he stays in. Um, maybe I should have stayed in regular form to... Actually if I, no, by Dragon Dancing I gave away that I was Zard X. But yeah, now I will Earthquake here, anticipating the Pex to come out. I don't think he would go... Okay, he goes Hard Landris. That's my fault. I should have just Flablitzed. Uh, Flablitz was the play, I guess. But if he goes Pex there, he has the Leech Seed going for him. So I thought he would go Pex. Um, this is obviously really bad for me. But the thing is, I can just go Lando and Defog here. Though, um, he can technically get his rocks back up with the Pharaoh Thorn. If he does U-turn. Um, which is understandable, because he had a Pex in the back. Still a risky play. Um, yeah, I played, I played that a bit wrong. I should have just Flablitz. No, I mean, if I Flablitz, I take so much recoil, especially if he's Helmet on the Lando. Now, he's gonna potentially knock my Scarf here. I don't really need my Scarf outside of for opposing Landris, so... But if I Defog here, he just gets Rocks back up the next turn, so I don't think I gain much from that. So, I think, um, what I'm gonna do here is go Magirna as he Leech Seeds. Why would you Leech Seed? I have a Tang Growth. Basically, this Greams I have Focus Blast, so he's either gonna Gyro Ball or go Pex here. Um, I'll just go Tang. I should have just gone Tang in the first place, but I thought he would knock off. And now, um, what I can do here is go to my Heatran on an expected Toxic. I don't want to let my Tang get Toxic just yet. And I can potentially trap the Toxic Pex with Magma Storm Torn and Earth Power, even though I'm more of a bulky Tran. Um, there's a bulky Tran with a little bit of Spadef, like the Nature is plus Spadef. But we still have a lot of speed investment, so we can outspeed Magirna and check Magirna a bit better that way. I don't know why he 
why he did that. He's misplaying a lot. But yeah, I'm not high on ladder, so what can you expect? Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments and show your support by smashing that uh, like button if you want to see more shot on lives. Like, pretty much my channel has turned into only uploading tournament games a while ago. Like, it started a while ago. I mean, that's like the main thing on my channel. Tournament games will always be the main focus. That's just what I enjoy the most. Um, yeah, he lets his packs get trapped. I should maybe have not let the Magina get taken take chip earlier. I cannot speak English today. <laughs> I just woke up a few hours ag ago. And, um, because Magina just wins now since he let the packs go down. I mean, to be fair, he didn't have a Magnus Storm switch in now that I look at it. So, yeah, his team is really Heatron weak. Now, I'm smelling a U turn here or HP Ice. Do I sack this? If I sack this, how do I beat the... Uh, I'm just saying, so if I sack this here on an Earthquake, then I get my uh, Defog off afterwards, which I definitely need to get a Defog off. Um, do I need this for anything is the question. Can I afford to stay in? It's really good for the Zap and for the Ferrothorn. I don't think it's necessary because I have... Yeah, it's not necessary because I do have... And yeah, I figured he would um, like try to overpredict, and that's obviously really annoying. Because, like, every damage I get on the Landris is good for my Zard X, so <laughs> that sucks that I missed that. Oh, he seems to be Scarf, the way he's playing this. So, like, that would have done a lot since he's offensive. Um, so, you guys can see he would have been dead by now if he didn't dodge. Now, do I save this? I don't think so. I mean, I live on one and I kill him. Yeah, it was a roll to kill me, I guess. And now, I can... Pretty much get some damage off here with Magma Storm because I should be faster. Nope, I cannot get damage off the Volt Switches. But yeah, now I can go into my Landers and Defog. And obviously, you can get the Rocks back up, but that's completely fine with me. I just want to get rid of the T Spikes. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I misplayed a little bit. I'm also a bit rusty because I haven't played Mons in forever. Well, even if I don't play Mons, it's kind of still as if I play Mons because I always watch tournament games and like try to think about their possible their possible best plays um the fairy magina yeah this wins if i hit focus blasts don't necessarily want to rely on that i just want to go zard and um i think was he zap was he static zap does i was just gonna say because if he's static that could be annoying if he goes to it again gets a full para but he's rocky helmet pharaoh is he no that was just rico that was just rico he's not rocky helmet so what I could do here is, I think I just flare bits for damage, because if I ruse and he discharge paras me... Oh, he's pressure. Okay, good to know that he's pressure. But yeah, I still don't want to go for Dragon Dance. If he roost, I guess he gets me. I don't think he would roost. And now I can just win with my Z-Fairy. Um, GG to that guy, and I'll pause it and get something to drink. Because like, it's super hot in my room, even though it's like, um, it's like late September, but it's still super hot. Also, I was going to talk um, a little bit about my channel. Oh, this guy's a Kyurem, which is a huge problem. <laughs> I can already tell you that Kyurem is not going to be fun to face. Um, but yeah, Landris is a good lead here. Um, and I can see that my Intimidate goes before his Terra Vault, which tells me that I'm faster. So I know that he's not choice Scarf Kyurem. Um, I should have, technically, that was a misplay U-turning. When I record tournament games, I always um, get mad when people U-turn when there's a Zapdos on the other side. Because you have to scout for them having static before you click U-turn. But since Kyurem is like has a good matchup versus Landris, I figured he would just stay in. And um, I can go Tapu Fini since I have the um, Intimidate on him. And he doesn't have a good Moonblast switch in outside of Excadrill, which gets bought by Surf. I think I'll just click Moonblast because um, it's early in the game. I want to stay in and get my Leftovers recovery back. And if he stays in, I don't want to play around with a Kyurem as he goes Drill. I was expecting either the Drill or the Coco to come out, but like I said, it's early game, I just want to play safe. And... Because he's a Leftovers variant, so he's probably Rock's Drill. This is his only potential Rocker, uh -huh. outside of Morwell. I'm checking Smoktus in between, just in case there's a tournament game. Even though it's like 11 in the morning for Americans right now, I think. What do I do here? I go Lando, right? Uh, actually, I can go for Surf here. The, the only thing I'm kind of worried about is if this gets low. Um, the Kyurem becomes an even bigger issue, but I figured he was gonna stay in and now he's tempted. Yeah, he obviously doesn't want to stay in because I'm faster. 
Um, Eric has some speed investment on this Finny, so that came, comes in handy there. I can just go Tang here. Well, Kyurem would come in and afterwards. Kyurem in electric terrain is a, bi is a big problem. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna talk about my channel with you guys. I'm gonna, I wanna like try to upload daily. I think I like made an announcement on Twitter where you guys could vote when you want me to upload. And yeah, there were like a lot of people voted for, I think which is 4 p.m. my time which is like 10 a.m. for Americans and then some people voted for the later times that I gave as option honestly um, since every like there were like different opinions but I think I can just go with that time range between um, 10 a.m. in the morning for Americans and like Eastern time between 10 a.m. in the morning and between um, 2 or 4 p.m. like in those 4 or 6 hour range in that range I'm, I will try to upload in that range right and just earthquake here um, because this is his rocker and if he sacks that um, I can defog later on and I can go to my Tapu Fin here anticipating a toxic which obviously is a bit risky but I think he's just yeah exactly these bulky egg controls usually run toxic um, Cory uses this set a lot I think this guy he doesn't use much speed on it though because um, I want to go Landorus here just because I don't want to let the cure him in on a oh he already showed you to him which means yeah, he would get Kyurem in anyway. I thought he would have Volt Switch instead. Oh, he has, he has both. <laughs> How did he know I would go Tang again? I mean, I guess it was obvious because I did it the first time already. So Fusion Bolt into Rain is a big problem. I feel like he's going to go for um, Over Predict right here. I mean, Tangros is nice. Mainly for the Finny. It's not necessary to win though. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary to win. And I feel like he's going to Over Predict here. So I'm just going to Earthquake knowing that he's going to Fusion Bolt in Electric Terrain. <laughs> And now I have I want to really go out into my um, Landris here, but it, like, it's really risky, right? Um, and Landris is important because it can check the mobile, and he might predict me. Wait, why? Why did I just say I want to go Landris? Because now he just fusion bolted, which means now he's gonna ice beam. What am I saying? I meant now I want to go into Finny on a on an ice beam. I'm insane, actually. Holy, <laughs> dude, I'm insane. Yeah. Ex if I went Landorus, that would have been destroyed. For some reason, I thought staying in makes him go for Fusion Bolt again, but it obviously would make him go for Ice Beam the next turn. Yeah, geni genius maneuvers from my end right there. Pivoting around the Kyurem. And I was thinking about going Landorus right there, but he was in range of Moonblast, so I'm completely fine with um, letting Mafini take that hit to get the Kyurem, to get the Kyurem out of the way. Um, but I'm kind of like, I kind of start talking about something, and then I stop talking about it. Okay, so I tried to do daily uploads, right, right. I gave you that information already. And last week, I think it worked almost every day. Um, thankfully, I have some people helping me record. So, like, some of the uploads will be um, guest uploads. It's not always gonna be me. Sometimes I'm just, um, yeah, I pause it between games to get new water every time. I'm drinking out of a glass. And just in general to keep the video shorter. Um, like, cut out unnecessary parts. What's it called? I always sleep with Scarf Lando, nice and mindless. Yeah, but thankfully I have my mans helping me out. Uh, Sealed with Little Cup. And yeah, LL has been on the channel I think twice. One of the videos was taken down again because the audio was really bad and he wanted me to take it down. He might re narrate that game, I'm not sure if he will. And now um, looking at his team. Uh, this might just be HO, which means I want to break the sash here. But if he, if I take helmet, then I get information if he's helmet. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's, it's not helmet, it's probably sash. Isn't this. This looks like a lot of like TDK screens but it doesn't have a Mew so it's a bit different what I can do here is uh, I can go Tapu Fini here and just defog since he's at minus one um, he, yes he could SD up actually I want to surf I want to surf because if he goes for SD okay he goes Megina damn I wish I went for default now <laughs> um, that's not a solvest that's offensive Megina and I'm gonna regret letting this take a hit because this is helpful. Oh, he doubles out. Wow. I mean, I'm just gonna surf. He must have predicted me. That's fine with me. He must have predicted me to switch out into my <clears throat> to my trend, which is why he doubled the Megina back out. But yeah, now I will go into my um, Tangros first to see what type of Megina this is. I figured it's shift gear, and I think if he's Z Fairy, that probably kills me. Also, um, as always, or most of the times, the team will be in the description if you guys want to test it out yourself. 
So feel free to grab it from there. I just wanted to call how much Zflur can does to the specific tangros that I'm using. I had to. I imported all the spreads I have, so it does not kill me, which is super cool. Um, he is calm mind. Okay, hopefully he's not some weakness policy thing. And a plus one. Things obviously look a bit different, and Twinkle Tackle has a good chance to kill me. So I go Heatra and hit a Scout. Uh, he's either gonna Ice Beam or Twinkle Tackle is also an option. Um, I just want to go Heatran in case he is Twinkle Tackle. If he goes for all out pummeling here, big props to him. Oh, how did he know? Damn, this guy's a Dawn Father, and I'm really lucky. How did he know to go for Focus Blast right there? Pretty sure I live a Focus Blast because I'm Spadef Tran. Um. Yeah, I'll just tell him real quick. Uh, I would have lived the secondary one, is what I'm saying. And because uh, this is Spadev invested, and the thing is, um, he would have been able to obviously weaken this. Not like I need this for much, though. Like, the Seedron loses to like his entire team pretty much. Um, the only problem is, well. I'm expecting a taunt from him here, but he doesn't. He doesn't taunt. Why would you not taunt? I, well, I just go for rocks. I should have done that last turn. I don't know why he wouldn't taunt me though, because rocks annoy his gear. I mean, he says sometimes I wish Focus Blast was like 100 base power, 90 accuracy. I mean, some Pokemon like Alakazam don't get Aura Sphere, but I just told him to run Aura Sphere if he really wants to have a weaker move that always hits. Um, but yeah, obviously, you run Focus Blast, and I should have mentioned that I was a misplay. You run um, Focus Blast because it gets certain KOs that other moves don't, so I completely understand why you run it. And. Well, yeah, the accuracy obviously sucks. I go Lando always, just to get the Intimidate off. Get the U-turn afterwards and just waste a turn of screens. And even if you went for water move, um, I would not do that much since I have Intimidate. And I don't need Landris at full for anything um, since I already also have a Tangros to deal with Zygarde. Um, I re I'm really surprised he Focus Blast at the Tangros. Um, I guess he really ha he really read me. He really read me. Like I didn't expect that on low ladder. Because <laughs> my Tangros lived any one hit outside of Z Fleur, I'm pretty sure. Or like Iceum, but Iceum again has no set. Hello, I don't think that's a set. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, that's what I just accept in my video that um, it doesn't get a KO. Um. Oh yeah, he's mega. Um, do I just go set my Tapu Fini here? No, I can just keep Intimidate shuffling. Now he outspeeds me, which um, doesn't matter. And now... Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I can let Tangros take a hit. Gigadrian wouldn't kill though. Now I can go Tang. Go back into Lando. Go back into Tang. And now I stall out his now I stall out his screens, which means Giga Drain kills. And unless he has Ice Fing and freezes me, I'm fine here. No freeze, cool. But yeah, I got really lucky so far. Let me um, grab another one. Okay. Um, yeah. Also, what I was talking about, you guys. So first, I talked about my channel and how I'm trying to get daily uploads. Yeah, sometimes I'm just busy or I don't feel like uploading, so I'm not. I'm not going to be able to do uploads daily myself, but I will try to just to upload four or five or six days, like four to six days a week, right? And then the days I can't get a video out for you guys, I'll try to have my f um, my friends help me out. And if that doesn't work, then okay, there will not be a video for one or two days a week, but it should still be okay overall, right? Now, if I'm, wa if I'm like, he might just stay in here, is what I'm trying to say. He doesn't know that I don't have a drag move, but he could also think I have a dragon move. I don't know if Dragon Claw is a guaranteed kill on Kyurem. I actually I slept a lot earlier, I don't know why I'm still tired. It's just my thing, I'm always tired. <laughs> call me call me pokey aim. Um so 
But yeah, if you guys want to see more live, just let me know, like I said. I will also make another poll on Twitter, most likely, and leave that in the description where you can vote. Dragonclaw has a good chance to Oko him. I think I'll go Heatran here. Yeah, because now I can pivot into my Landorus um, to scout. For the off power or the fusion bolt, um, I'm thinking he's probably Zim of Curum. His team is just like threads on threads, and he does have off power. Now, I don't want to make the mistake that I made earlier of you turning into a static Zapdos. Like, even though he didn't have a static Zapdos, like, just in general, um, that's a bad play, in my opinion, you turning uh, if I don't know his Zapdos set. So what I'm gonna do here is, I don't really have a play that covers all options, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I don't have a play that covers all options, because Stone Edge would cover the Zap, but it would not kill the Kyurem. U-turn covers him staying in, but I guess I have, like, Finny covers him staying in, but it doesn't cover the Zap, though. So, like, this is just, this is just a weird turn. I think Tangros is, Tangros is like half a mid ground, because Tangros covers the Zap, though, and he is static, exactly, that's why I didn't go for U-turn. And it kind of covered him staying in, kind of at least, because since, since I'm AV and it's probably a Z-move, and uh, it doesn't run much special attack investment, I could take Ice Beams. And he was intimidated, so he was not going to go for the Z there, I don't think. And now, hmm, I could you I don't want to knock off because he has a Galate. Um, I, he could, like, Heat Wave or Volt Switch here. Um, I think I'll, I think I'll just HP Ice. Okay, he goes back in the Kyurem. Yeah, Kyurem is like a big threat. Obviously, Kyurem made a lot of sense. I just didn't want to knock off into the Galate. Oh, this is bad, dude. Yeah, I think I figured he wouldn't go for his Z move. Now, what do I go into now? <laughs> Kyurem is so scary, dude. Like, he's just gonna... I think he's gonna predict my Finny. He doesn't. Okay, cool. So I can pivot into Landris once again, but it's like, no, let's not, let's not pivot. Okay, it worked. Um, if Stone Edge kills from here, I'll go for it. Yeah, this is like really risky, pivoting around a Kyurem. I should probably like figure out what months I need the most and what months I don't, but I like don't want to, I don't want to like sag anything. Uh, where is the Land OT set, custom set there? Stone Edge doesn't kill, which is sad, Kyurem is so bulky. Um, this does only have a little bit of attack investment. This team is a bit outdated, potentially. Like, it's not super new for the new meta. Um, but yeah, we have some Spidef on Finny to help with Alakazam and AV Tangrus to help with Alakazam and some Spidef on this. Though, um, Alakazam is still a huge problem for this type of team. But we are not facing Alakazams at the moment, and I also just want to have some fun with this team. Yeah, I don't have a mid-ground once again that covers everything. Um, I think I will go into my Heatran here, as it does cover the Ice Beam. And it does cover him going in a zap dose. Thing is, I have to pivot out back again. Um, on the off power. Hopefully no spadev drop. And now, I think I can just go for Moonblast. He might, he's probably just gonna go zap dose. Um, but he does stay in. I don't understand why he would stay in. Because Kyurem is like valuable. It's like scary to face. But yeah, I'm not messing around with this Kyurem. I'm just gonna Moonblast again and get the extra leftovers if he wants to switch. If he wants to sack it, cool. So these people um, are really like... I mean, you can say he weakened the Finny for the Galate. Also, I have to be careful around Blacephalon. Yeah, he weakened this for Galate and for Hooper. If you want to look at it, if you want to look at it that way, I guess he made some progress for his other breakers, but not really. Like, I take getting rid of Kyurem for some chip on my f for like 70 on my Finny. That's a good trade for me. Um, I think Heatran can switch him once because I have some speed death. But if he specs, I might just get Twid KO'd. And that's not Specs, that's either Scarf or Z, it's probably Scarf. His Q never went for the Z move, I don't know if it was Belt or Z move. But yeah, now, I think Rocks are... I think I have to off power because this is such a big threat. And I don't want to like play around with it. I get a crit which might have mattered. I don't understand why he stayed in, he should have gone to one of these two guys in my opinion. Like, I let it up, I played at least 20 or 21 games off screen so I don't face... Um, super bad players, but it seems that doesn't really help that much. But let me pause it and put some more music in the background. Like, I have some playlists on this, um, like this Groove program on Windows 10. I always make some playlists where I can just... What's it called? So I don't have to um, render the video after. I can just play the music while I'm recording and save some time. I think I wanna just... 
Is he glare? Does the, the music is not playing. My music program just crashed in the background, even though I put music on. Basically, my music program crashing. Um, that's another thing I wanted to talk about with you guys. Um, I'm saving money for a new computer, and I'm almost there. I'm I'm gonna get a new computer in like maybe two months. So then you guys can expect more, like even more quality, um, which will also make it more fun to record for me. Uh, what's it called? Okay, maybe I should not be staying in here. <laughs> ah, this doesn't have HPIs, which sucks. It has Stone Age, obviously, to deal with. Princess Art Y, Tornadoes. I think I just have to HP ice because I don't want to let him sub. If I knock into sub, that's really bad. But yeah, pretty much what I was trying to say. Uh, I should be able to live a hit with my land since I'm still at full. I'll get a new computer. Um, if you guys want to help me out, I'm still missing um, quite a bit of money. But I'm confident I can get it together in two months. If you want to help me out, um, I will start doing... Um, on YouTube, I will start this... There's like an option that you guys can get member, which is like five or five euros a month. And I I'm gonna stone it here on the zap those, just because I know he's gonna go to it. I could have also doubled. Um, that doesn't even twit KO, so yeah. <laughs> this is not attack invested weak ass um, Lando. I can go into my Zard here though and fire off a Flavit. Or Dragon Hands. But yeah, if you guys wanna help me out, um, by you can support me a little bit by getting, getting member. Though the option when this video will go up, I don't think it will be there yet, but it will be there next days. Because I still have to read through like all the terms. Uh, thingy. If he's helmet, is he helmet? Oh, wait, why did that not kill? Damn, don't para me, dude. Cool. So now I obviously risk getting paralyzed, but I think even if he paras me, if he's a slow zap, which I think he's like mixed defense, I might still be fast, is what I'm trying to say, because I have a dragon up exactly. Basically, um, I will talk about that again in another, in, another, in another video, right? Why can I not talk today? But if you guys, um, what's it called? Like, I will talk about what you gain from, um, like, paying the 5 euro a month, basically, for getting member. And yeah, even though that option is not there yet, you guys can also... Um, yeah, just support me. There's a donation link. I usually don't ask for that, but um, obviously I can put in more work. Like I can put more time into my videos. I can upload more often when you, um, like, if you guys support me. So like, that's just the thing. If you can, like, if you cannot, if you don't have like money at all, then. Um, that's fine, you can still support me if you want. And if you enjoy the videos, I'm not forcing you, obviously. You can still support me by... Um, damn, I'm playing a risky game here, but I just want to win a game with Zardex, because I want to put Zardex in the thumbnail. I think Zardex is the reason most of you guys voted on this team, so that I'll, that's the reason this team has won, won the voting, because <laughs> Zardex is a really cool mon. Yeah, Earthquake is obviously there to deal with uh, Heatran. Earthquake should be able to pick him off as well, since I'm at plus five. Hopefully no para here, that would be really sad. Even though I think I might have been able to deliver arrows, that would just been a yeah. Basically, I dragged Lance up to plus five. I would have gone to plus six if he didn't para me. Just so um, I outspeed everything because para got nerfed, which means I was easily able to outspeed all this stuff. And yeah, I just sent this bot packing. I probably could have played that a bit different and roosted first and like take less recoil. Been a bit more healthy. I mean, like been a bit more healthy, but it's fine. If he has Shadow Sneak, okay. I don't even know if that kills. So he might just have to bank on the para here as he gets it. Um, that's obviously a bit annoying. But it's not a big deal. I can just U-turn out here with my Landris into my... Um, uh, into sacking my Finny, maybe? Should I sack my Finny? Uh, Heatran does nothing, so I just sack Heatran. Um, I just click Earth Paw here because I don't want to miss. If he gets Hooper, I get some chip on that. If he stays in... I set, up a, I set up a shift key and my Magina wins the game. Okay, never mind. He sets up a SD. I don't think Magina loves a plus one close combat. Also, um, I'm struggling a lot with like talking about other stuff while playing the game. So that's also probably why. 
Like it's hard for me to make the optimal play when I try to talk about something else. Um, but yeah, obviously, um, what's it called? I feel like I played that wrong, but I know I would have missed ha Magma Storm, so I didn't just I didn't go for it that because of that. I think Earthquake should be able to pick him off, and if it doesn't, okay, I'm bad. I should have cocked. <laughs> Okay, that was really bad. Um, though I got the I got to intimidate on him, which means and he he doesn't have close combat, so Nama Megina wins the game. Yeah, never mind. Still made the correct play. Well, I still have to hit a Flurkan versus the Hoopa, cause I have to hit one Flurkan basically. I can use my Z on one of the two, and I have to hit a Flurkan on the other one of the two months. That does nothing. Um, I think I'll just use my Z and then um, I. Try to hit a Fleur on the Hooper to win the game. If I miss this, uh, he might still have a shot. I don't know if he would have. Yeah, let's grab another one. It's going well. Oh, we already have reached 31 minutes, so... This might be the last game as we get a try-hard opponent right here. Um, actually, not even going to waste any time looking at his ranking or anything. I used to, like, always look at their ranking, but, like, there's no point. Um, Zard is really good in this one. I have to. L if he's asset armor reuniclus, that might just beat me though. I feel like Zard is a really solid lead. Uh, unless he leads Greninja, Zard is so good as a lead right here. Um, I can threaten out like half his team, but he does lead Greninja, and I don't think I can live. I mean, obviously, Greninja was like. It's like a mon people lead, a lead with quite a lot. But just in case he didn't. Um, I wanted to leave with my Zard. I'm gonna calc how much Ash Greninja does before it's an Ash form with Hydro Pump. There's a good chance to kill me, and since I don't have Dragon Claw, there's no big like there's no reason to stay in for me. Um, just go. Ta I'll just go Tangros to scout. He's a male Greninja, which means he can be protein. Okay, this is a French team with Toxic Spikes Gren. I think I have this team outside of Scizor. My team is different. My team doesn't have the Scizor. Yeah, and this is really disgust. Like, not this. It's a good strategy, basically, but it's disgusting the face. Cause Mafini gets status. Oh my god! Basically, the reason he runs T Spike is cause it's for Asset Armor Arena. Cause I think I just lose to this. Oh, I'll Earthquake here. Cause if he gunk shots or goes Heatran, why did he go Heatran though? He had a Scissor. I do not understand why he made that play. I really want to go for a knockoff, but just predicting the torn. Let me see if I have a mid ground. I can go Zard here. Zard covers the Torn and it covers him staying in. As he did stay in to Madness Stone. Cool. So I'll just Mega and. Do I want a Mega? I mean, I don't think I want a Mega because. Um, I could have Mega, but because of the T Spike, I didn't. And now. Well, my Magina can actually win this game, but the problem is I need to hit multiple Focus Blasts. Nah, I cannot. I need to chip her down the scissor first. Now, pretty sure this Greninja has Ice Beam. Maybe it's Z Dig, I don't remember exactly. Um, I don't really have a great answer here. I might la just have to let my Finny get status. My Finny is not that great in this game. I'm gonna attempt to defog, but I don't think there's a big point in doing that because he will just get them back up anyway. Um, I think I just have to defog till I die here. Okay, now I can go into land rune due to and well he has the torn. So he's Z shattered psych, which is to get rid of packs. Usually it's either Z dick or Z shattered psych on Grand. And I still wanted to talk about something, but I forgot what it was. If I go Megina here, he just goes Scizor. I'll make this play, even though. Um, this doesn't Oko him since I'm not max attack. And he can get another T Spike back up. Uh, so he's pump, T Spikes, Shattered Psych, E Sense. What's his last move? Ice Beam? And uh, no. He didn't go for T Spikes. Cool. It's pump. But now he can go for T Spikes. Uh, though I can defog them away if he does. I think I'll just Giga Drain here. Oh, I forgot that he turned. <laughs> Dude, I'm bad. I just wanted to get some health back. But yeah, that's fine. The second layer also doesn't really make a difference. I can just defog them away later with my Landris on the Scizor. Well, how do I not lose to Reuniclus is the big question here. Oh my god, uh, I go hard on the trend and taunt. 
Yeah, I have to go hard turn and taunt him. If he has focus best, I click X, but I don't think he has it. Cool, cool, cool. So now we just click Magma Storm, and he's actually trying to sack his real Nicholas, um, which I take that. I have to keep attacking here to fish for the drop, I think. Um, I would obviously like to get our Brox, but I'm not. Let me just keep Magma Ring. I don't know why I clicked off power earlier, by the way. I have to keep this low. Oh, he kills me there. Um, and now I can click Flare to my Zard. I have to Mega though. And we get rid of Reuniclus. Phew! That Reuni was such a big threat. I think he played that wrong. Uh, he should not have. I don't know. I feel like he could have played different. Basically, the problem is still the Scissor. If the Scissor wasn't there, my Magina just won. How do I get rid of that? Like, Hurricane obviously kills me here. I, I, I kind of don't want to go hard Magina, but I also want to keep my Zard because otherwise I'll just lose to the Scissor. So I ha I feel like I have to keep my Zard if you guys get what I'm trying to say. And now I pivot into Lander here. Um, he's probably going to U-turn out, but that gives me a Defog afterwards. If he's SD Scissor, I think I also might just lose. I think he's Cursed Scissor on this team. Um, yeah, obviously, like, I c since he confused me, I didn't really see a reason to stay in. Problem are the T spikes, like. I think I just lose because of the T-Spikes. Yeah, exactly. He curses and then I just lose because he curses again and there's nothing I can do. He didn't Mega yet. Um, yeah. Well, where was my misplay? I should not have brought the Zard in. I should not have brought Zard in on the... Please live. L oh, it lived? Ooh, goat. Oh my god. This guy choked. Wait, 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 I still lose, I think, um, Lando's U-turn won't kill, I wanna go Lando and click Edge, man, this guy tried to throw the game, but he's still in a tough, like, I'm still in a tough spot, custom sets versus scissor, but yeah, I definitely could have kept my Zart more healthy, um, because Flabbit's recoil, Brought me super low, almost in range from Scissor. Where's Curse Scissor? Oh, I just put a max defense Curse Scissor in. Stone Edge kills. The reason why I want a Stone Edge is because. Obviously, because of that tornadoes in the bag. If I miss the Stone Edge, I'm gonna be super, 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 super pissed. Um, because he could keep this and try to heal it up on my tank growth, which is why I think Stone Edge is the play here. Um, he could also just go into the, his Bulu here, as he does. If he dodges this, phew! Because like I was, I would have gone gone so mad there if he dodged that. Because he's literally trying to throw the game that he had like one guarantee. Um, we don't have Sludge Bomb on this tank growth, so this is a huge problem. Um, do I just go McGinner here? As he's SD variant. I think I go back into Landris on a superpower. As he Hornleach. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Hornleach was the great play, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um. Is he leftovers, Bulu? I didn't pay attention, but I think I have to comment up first. And then go for Z move. I should have calked that because I needed to shift gear for the torn. Never mind, I just beat the torn. So this guy choked a game that he should have never lost. I still forgot some details that I wanted to talk about. Pretty much, new computer is gonna be coming in a few months. So if you guys want to support me, um, I have a link in my description, and I will have that option where you guys can get member for five euro. I don't know how much it is in dollar. I will still um, make a video about that, like I said. And yeah, just let me know. Um, I will make a poll on Twitter. Where you guys can vote how often you want shot on live because yes tournament is the main focus and i think most of you guys are subbed for tournament coverage but if i feel like recording a live or if you guys want to see lives more often if it's just too many tournament games for you i can definitely do that i also have the option to play some other games if there's like because my new computer is going to be super fire um it's not going to be like the best of the best but it's definitely good enough to play games um so if you guys have like any favorite 
like super chill games that I can play for like update videos for like in between uploads. I can definitely do that as well if you guys want it. It's just up to you. Um, yeah, like you guys can like pretty much help me um, with my channel by what's it called? <laughs> Dude, I'm messing up my outro. Like you guys can decide what type of content you want to see. Um, when I will upload it and all that good stuff. Um, tournament, okay, uh, talking about tournament coverage, I have so many old T games still going up. Snake Draft. Um, but yeah, also the reason why I haven't been uploading some of the days is because I'm like super dead sometimes. Because um, I gotta like watch out for my health more. Like last weekend, once I stayed up 30 hours plus to record every tournament game I could record. <laughs> And obviously, when I'm too tired, when I get tired, I cannot record them live anymore, so I have to re-narrate over them still. So it's just double the work and like super annoying. But um, yeah, don't worry. Um, like I like that. I love doing that, like recording tournament games. So I feel like it's worth it staying up for 30 hours sometimes to catch every single game. And yeah, last Sunday when there was snake draft, there were at one point I missed some games because there were like four games at the same time. I still made sure to catch every old T game live. I think I only missed like half a game from old T. And from Snake Draft, I have like every OU game besides like four games, maybe. I also have some games that are kind of boring where it's like stall action. But yeah, um, I forgot what I wanted to say. Classic Dog with the bad outro. Hope you guys enjoyed the live. Smash the, smash the thumbs up button. Um, show your support. And I will either, like, at least have a poll where you can vote. How often a week you want to show on live? I will give you the option where it says one show on live, two or three. I think a week. I'm not. I'm never gonna make more than three lives a week. Maybe two. I think one or two is realistic since my channel is focused on tournament games. And yeah, I haven't been doing even one live a week. I just have not been a week. I just haven't been doing lives at all. But if you want lives, I can definitely do that. Like I said. Uh, I feel like I'm repeating myself and I still missed something that I wanted to say. So if I remember it, I will just put it in the description or I'll say it in the next video. And yeah, I wish you guys a fantastic day. I thank you for watching. And I will go make some food because I'm super tired and hungry. <laughs> and peace out, friends. Zadek's goat at least was able to pull through somehow.